Dear God, I got one question. I need to know do revolutionaries go to heaven? And if so, may their legacies last forever and they seeds grow. Tell them that we love them so and never let them die slow. It's like we cursed to be born black. We was kings and queens, now look where we at. I know it won't be long before we take it back. I just hope I live long enough to see it happen. And that's a fact. Cause one thing when you pro black, you might love your people, but they may not love you back. For more than 400 years, we've been under attack. We survived slavery and then they gave us crack. Gave us crack. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? 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 I wanna know. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I wanna know. Do revolutionaries go to heaven? I hope so. Peace, King. How you feeling? Good. Can you hear me? Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Let's roll. Let's roll. Man, first and foremost, I just want to thank you. I truly appreciate you, you know, coming on the platform. It's definitely an honor. You're a legend, icon. You know, you done made history, world history, Hall of Famer. I appreciate it, bro. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Man, so for the viewers who may not know who you are, uh, let them know what your name is and definitely let them know where you're from. Uh, hold on. Are we, are we are we recording now? Yeah, but it's pre-recorded. I can edit it if you need me to. Oh, no, no, no. I was just, uh, something's coming through on my phone. This okay. is, uh, this is Stevie Ray, former pro wrestler right here. I'm living in Houston, Texas right now. Okay, okay. Man, so my first question for you is, uh, when did you decide to become a wrestler? Did you grow up watching wrestling or was it something that kind of came to you later on in life? Well, I think everybody grew up watching wrestling. Uh, I just kind of stumbled into wrestling, man. I guy opened up a wrestling school and he was like, hey, man, guys, you know, some guys want to come try out for a wrestling school. So we kind of like went try it out for a wrestling school and that's how it all started. It was kind of just like something to do. End wow, up that's dope. right, y'all flipped it a hell of a career for sure. Yeah, so <laughs> it was one of those things, man. Okay, okay. Now, did you have some earlier influence? Like, you know, I, my era, we grew up looking up to y'all. Who did you grow up watching and looking up to in I, terms of wrestling? You know, I was just a fan <clears throat> of wrestling. I was just a fan mm -hmm. of of uh, of wrestling. Period. You know, what I'm saying, like a fan of football, basketball track and field uh auto racing i was just a fan period you know i'd never had any influences by anyone i mean i don't know i'm i'm really not influenced by pro athletes i'm kind of influenced by people from other walks of life so oh yeah that's what's up i hey, i feel it no, no I'm, doubt. I'm serious i'm kind of influenced by people like uh Martin Luther king john f kennedy you know, people that have really moved people in a different kind of way. Athletes don't really do it for me. Nothing against them, but, you know, they're just people to watch on television, you know. Right. You named some powerful people, man, most definitely. Yeah. Big shout out to MLK. He changed yeah. the world and planted, uh, you know, some strong seeds, most definitely. Yeah. Man, okay, okay. Uh, for the viewers who may not know or be, may not be familiar with you, um, what is your relationship with your tag team partner, Booker T.? Other than him being my brother, he's my brother. Right. Wow. That's amazing, man. That's a that's a, a strong bloodline. That's what's so up. When you say what is my relationship, yeah, man, <laughs> he's my brother. I mean, that's not, you know, that's my family. Oh yeah, no uh, doubt. But, you know, uh, chances are anybody watching this do know. So I don't think we're gonna yeah, have yeah. too many people that don't know. Oh yeah, yeah no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. Okay, okay. But man, he I, I was watching, the, uh, I think he was getting inducted to the Hall of Fame, and he gave you a lot of props, a lot of credit. He like my big brother. He always had my back. So I want to thank you for sure, first and foremost, for setting that example for him and being behind him and pushing him, you know, right. because, you know, if not, he might have ended up going into something else, you know. That's a possibility. That's how things work sometimes. That's true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Let me see. Uh, now, uh, what was the transition like going from the wrestling school to actually going to the WCW? Was that where y'all first started, or did y'all have to go to a another league before that? Oh no, we did a lot of wrestling before we ever got to WCW. Um, wrestling is wrestling. At the end of the day, um, you're just on a bigger stage. Just like any other form of uh, entertainment, you know. Wrestling is wrestling, you know. You go through the trials and tribulations of trying to get to the bigger stage, the bigger lights, you know. And you got to know your stuff. And that's how you learn. Just like anything else. Just like singing. Just like dancing. Just like acting. Just like anything else. You got to go through the... Uh, you got to go through the trials and tribulations to try to get to the top because there's a lot of people trying to get to the top. So, it's no different. Man. Right, right. Wrestling, no doubt. Wrestling, but I, wrestling is no different. Right, right. But y'all yeah. put some work in, man, to be, you know, as phenomenal as y'all was. You know, obviously, y'all worked very hard to get to that spot. And then when y'all got to that spot, y'all competed with the best of the best. So, I want to.